Hello everyone. Welcome to another session of JavaScript interview series. In today's session, we are going to talk about the most frequently asked interview question that is closer. Yes, we are going to talk about what is closer, when to use it and use cases where we can make use of closer. Let's get started. Before seeing what is closer, let's discuss about something called lexical scoping. So, you might have already know that in JavaScript, child function always has access to the variables or resources of the parent function. Now, let me show you what I mean. Create a function called parent function and inside parent function, create a variable myval with value 0. Let's print it console.log from parent function and here declare a inner function or nested function. So, let's say function child function. So, as per this definition, child function always has access to the variables of parent function. So, here we can access the my value inside the child function. So, let's print the value of my val instead of parent, let's say child function. And let's invoke this child function inside the parent function. So, child function. So, now let us call this parent function. So, parent function save it so we can easily guess the output right from parent function 0 from child function 0 so by this we understood child function has access to the parent function scope right not just accessing the variable we can also modify it right so let's say we can simply increment the value of my val here so my val plus a equal to 1 so increment it by 1 each time so save it now we can see that from parent 0 from child function 1. The child function has access to the parent scope but not vice versa. So let's declare a variable called say let age equal to 40 and try to access this child function's variable outside of the child function. Console.log age. So if you try to access it, we get the reference error, right? So save it. So we are going to get uncaught reference error. So we can't access the child functions variable in the parent function scope. Now so far so good. Now let us see what is the definition of closer. According to the Dev3 schools, a closer is a function having access to the parent scope even after the parent function has closed. So let us break this definition into two lines. First statement. A closure is a function having access to the parent scope and the second one even after the parent function has closed. As per the first part of the definition, we have already created a closure, right? Here child function is the closure having access to the parent scope. So a closure is a function having access to the parent scope. But we need to fulfill the second statement also that is even after the parent function has closed. So what does it mean when we say function has closed? So when the function completes its execution, it means function has closed, right? So here we invoked parent function and that means function has closed here, right? Here at the line number of 21, the child function completes its execution and it pops out of the stack. When the function itself is not there, how the function can have access to its parent function? So what we need to do? We need to return this child function. So instead of executing it inside the parent function, we need to return it. Remove this parenthesis and let's return this. Now this parent function will return the child function. So let's save it in a variable. Let child func. You can give any name. After this statement, let us print what is child function. So we know that it will be child function that is returned from the parent function, right? So child function, save it. So it is child function. And now let's execute child function. So child function, save it. There we go. Now parent function has closed. Still child function is able to access the scope of the parent function, right? If you call it one more time, so what it will print? Let's give a try. Save it. There we go. From child function 2. 
so it incremented the last updated value so from 1 to 2 so now make equal once again so this time from child function 3 so even after this parent function has closed the child function is able to access the scope of parent function that makes child function a closer right so we have created a closer so this is very easy isn't it so we have fulfilled this definition that a closer is a function having access to the parent scope even after the parent function has closed now let us run our code in javascript visualizer and understand closer even better javascript visualizer doesn't support let keyword so i just replaced it with var keyword now just remove this child function invocation and click on step go to parent function execution directly so step 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 we are in the execution page of parent function now my value is undefined so once it executed this line the my value will be zero and just after the parent function execution completed here we can see that a closer scope is created so when we have a function inside the another function javascript will create a closer scope and now just click on step again closer scope is out of the stack now let's execute the child function so click on step until we reach the parent function execution contest we have parent function execution contest here and once it completes the line number 13 we know that parent function execution contest will be out of the stack and we can see the closure scope right there we go now we have the closure scope right even after the parent function has closed now click on step again now we are executing this child function so it will be creating child function execution contest so once it executed the statement where we increment in the value of my well then we can see the value of my value will be changed in the closure scope so there we go here we have my value one and then we are printing it and after that the child function is out of stack now because we have executed it and the function has closed so once we finish executing everything the closure scope also out of the stack but the global execution contest will be there always so similarly just take this and execute more than one time and just click on step 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 closer scope will be created and then we are calling the child function execution contest so this child function execution contest is nothing but the execution contest of the function that is available at the line number 14 then again child function execution contest created for because we are making call again so like this closer scope stays in the stack until we are accessing the inner function right now we can see that in the closure scope my value is 2 finally we are invoking the third one this time the my value will be 3 now let us see the first and simple use case where we can use the closure i have a button called subscribe and i am showing subscriber count with the default value 0 each time user click on this subscribe button i would like to increment this subscriber count by 1 and show the updated value on the UI. So, go to app.js. I am going to create a function called subscribe. And this time I am creating an arrow function. And inside that, let's create a variable called subscriber count. So, so let's create an inner function where we are going to increment the value whenever user click on the button. Again, I am creating arrow function. This time, I am creating an anonymous function as we are going to return this function. And simply say subscriber count plus equal to 1. I am using pretty fair extension, so it automatically adds these parentheses. And then we need to return this function, right? So just return it. That's it. So now let's call subscribe function and assign result into a variable. So const increment subscriber count equal to. Don't hesitate to create a variable or function name with a long name. All it has to do is it should make sense, right? So now this increment subscriber count holds this child function which increment our subscriber count. Document dot query selector button add event listener and we are going to listen to the click event so click and it takes a callback function and then false so 
inside this callback function we need to access this span element where we are going to show the subscriber count so let me quickly access that document dot and dot so inner html equal to increment subscriber count so i am just calling this function so it will return the subscriber count value after it incremented it so it so now just click on this subscribe there you go now you can see that each time we click we can see the updated value right so now you may get the doubt why we need to create the closer for this simple task like we can simply create a variable called count and we can increment it whenever we click on the button right here the count variable is public variable but using the closer we can achieve the private variables so here this subscriber count is private variable and you can't access this outside accidentally or you can't even modify it but whereas this count is public variable you can modify it accidentally at any place closures are best way to achieve the encapsulation and closures are very useful now let us see the second use case and this will be very very interesting assume you are playing a game and you have five chances to complete the level and if you are not able to complete the level within the five chances then game will be over so now let's play it so this time i am going to use the immediately invoked function i am sure you know what it is otherwise please refer my size study video so immediately invoked function is the function which executes immediately as we run the javascript so here we can simply create the immediately invoked function like this so now this is the function right we just had the parentheses inside the parentheses we have the you know error function after that we can invoke this function as we invoke the normal function so using the parentheses then so this is immediately invoked function now let's print it like console.log let's say called and bring up the console there we go now we can see that called so as soon as you save the javascript file we can see that this immediately invoked function fires so let's remove this console log statement now let us define the number of chances let chances equal to five chances let's say and inside that let us have a function where we are going to decrement the number of chances each time user play the game again let's have a arrow function and inside this arrow function we are going to decrement the chances so chances minus minus and then let displace the number of chances left right so console.log use the back ticks and say number of chances left and use the dollar symbol and then here we simply say chances then return this inner function we know that immediately invoked function will execute as soon as we define it so as soon as it invoked it returns the inner function so let's save it in a variable so here i say let play now equal to now let us play this game play now save it there we go here we can see that number of chances left four because we have already played once so let me give here some colon yeah number of chances left four and play again and this time number of chances left 3 and the similarly just play 5 times then at the end we can see that number of chances left 0 and whenever we don't have any chances left then we can display the message that is game over right and then you can just return so after decrementing the chances we need to have the condition here so if chances less than or equal to 0 then just display console log game over and then return otherwise just show the number of chances left just remove this and now we have played three times then fourth time then fifth time that's it game over right because now we don't have any chances left if you try to play again you get the same message game over so let's say i would like to decide this number of chances dynamically so I don't want to declare it here so what to do just remove that and make this function to accept one parameter so here I give parameter like say chances and let's pass this argument here right let's say this time 
instead of 5 let's pass 8 now 7 6 5 4 3 2 right still we have two chances left so like and then game over so once we played eight times now the game is over so this is another case where we can use the closer i hope by now you understood the what is closer and how to use it and if this video is helpful to you please hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you are new to my channel